So the head of the EPA is saying the Obama administration will bypass Congress on climate change legislation as it vows to take matters into its own hands. Uh, Doug McKelvey is on that story live out of Washington. Has there been much change on climate change, Doug? You know, Bill, the, the science is really interesting on this. Uh, it shows for unexplained reasons that global warming has basically stalled. There has been no warming for the past 15 years. Carbon dioxide is increasing, but it's not producing the results that many activist climate scientists had predicted. Yet just last week, and I should say this week, Administrator McCarthy at the EPA has announced her plan to circumvent Congress and carry out the president's regulatory climate change agenda. He said that he wasn't going to wait for Congress, but that he had administrative authorities and it was, it was time to start utilizing those more effectively in a more concerted way. Another hit this week in a suit brought by the Landmark Legal Foundation against EPA. A federal judge ruled against the agency and high-ranking officials in their use of alias email accounts. Judge Royce Lambert wrote, a quote now, the possibility that unsearched personal email accounts may have been used for official business raises the possibility that leaders in the EPA may have purposefully attempted to skirt disclosure under the FOIA. His ruling means that Landmark can now seek discovery and depose under oath EPA officials, including former Administrator Jackson and President Administrator McCarthy. And a third hit against the EPA from two members of Congress. Daryl Issa and Senator David Vittert wrote former Administrator Jackson just last night, demanding all her personal emails over the last four years that relate to her official duties, quoting, We're concerned that your use of a non-official email account was a deliberate attempt to circumvent federal transparency laws and congressional oversight. So a, a tough week for the EPA, Bill. Indeed it is. Doug, thank you. Doug McElway, we'll see what goes of, uh, of that. Thanks, Mark.